Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. So, um, as you can see in my webcam, I have my camera set up. I am going to see if I can show this from two different angles. <laughs> am I ambitious or what? So, um, I was in such a hurry to unbox this and then I had to go babysit. So, now I'm going to take the time to take it. Uh, give you more information and open it up and check her out. So, without further ado, um, I got um, I was on a web, I was on somebody's site and they were uh, recommending this. This is a monthly kit that you get. Right now, I think if you sign up for two months, it's half price. Now in Canada. It's $24.98. Um, you can go to the website. I'll try and put the link down below. Uh, but it's Paper Pumpkin. And it's part of the Stampin' Up! group. In the United States, it's $19.95. I don't know if they have the 50% off for the two months as well. I'm not sure. But um, you can join up. So I've joined up for two months at half the price. So in Canada, it would be like you know 12 something so um, and if I don't like it if I decide that it's just not what I'm looking for I can cancel at any time so I believe this is shipped in Canada it's shipped from Calgary um, but in the States I am not quite sure um, I didn't really look it up because I'm Canadian I was doing that. so we opened her up and it, um, we had a little welcome card, paper pumpkin, welcome, thank you, so glad you joined. And all a little bit of information, invite your friends. Um, and pin me, gift me, share me, see you soon. Um, that is time to create. So every month you get a package. And this month, I'm going to show it on my camera as well. This is one that I had tried and totally failed, but I had used a large bag. So I'm going to show you over here as well. Sorry I'm doing a double, but I just want to see if the camera is going to capture the details a little bit better because I know with this light up here, let me see if I turn it off. Yeah, it makes it quite dark in my camera, so I'm not sure how that's working and why did it stop. My camera just stopped. And I don't know why. So you know what? I'm not going to do it with the camera. I'm going to continue doing it with my webcam. Sorry, guys, for doing this, but I'm having trouble with this. I think it needs a new battery. I know the camera does a better job of capturing. And for some reason, it's been giving me nothing but headaches lately. And I don't know whether it's because it was sitting in the car for a couple of days or not. But anyway, so I'm going to try and bring you in as close as I can to show you all the goodies that I have here. So it comes with on a cardboard here. Here's the package. It comes with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. It also has um, a YouTube channel to watch how to make this and how to use the stamp. It's really, really cool. Um, but I thought when I saw this, I went, oh my God, it, it was exactly what I was trying to do. And now I have it. So in the package, it came with a bunch of cute stamps. I did show it in the unboxing, but I'll show it again because I think last time it was a little glary. So we're going to try this. These are all the cute little stamps. It comes with a little ink. It comes with an acrylic um, block. It's a D block, they call it. See, I don't know anything about this stamping business. So 
so I'm just going to put everything aside. It came with these cards and um, all these different pieces that you can, you know, create your tags with or your, that's what it's called, a tag. And then these are the pre-cut skirts. I call it a skirt. If there's eight. So there's eight packages, eight of these small little bags. Alrighty. It comes with eight paper straws. These ones have um, bats on it, which is really, really cute. It comes with and like I say, I'm not sure about everything yet. It comes with these eight cards. It has a little raffia and it has some um, orange yarn of some kind. So that's what came in my box. I'm really excited about that. So let's get this out of the way and see. I love it. I, I love getting things in the mail because I don't get mail. Oh, poor me. I don't get mail. Alrighty, so I'm going to lay them out. I wish I could zoom this webcam. I really do. But, and I'm hoping you can see it. I wonder if you can see it better on the white. Let's take that off. And we shall see. If I have to, I'll retape. So I've got my eight little bags. I've got my eight straws. I've got my raffia. I've got my eight, I call them skirts, here. I've got my eight little cards. This is part of this. And this is part of the tags. Okay. So I believe what happens here is that we can you know, create tags like this. I've got my stamps, I've got my acrylic block. Alrighty, let's see. And I'm, I've never done this, so we're trying it both for the first time. So the first step is to stamp your white tags. Here's my first step. I hope you can see that without glaring too much. Alrighty. Step number one is to open up the ink. I'm just going to do this. Now is that a protective cover or is that the way it is? Oh it is that way. Alrighty. So I'll take out my acrylic block. I sure hope you guys got lots of time because I have no idea how long this is going to take. It's my first time. I've never done it. So I can put, and now it's to decide. I think I'm just going to have a little fun with it. Alrighty, so I have to decide how I want to stamp this little, this little tag. Now, see, you can't see it on the board. So that wasn't working. That wasn't working. Let's slide this back in there. It doesn't take long. I'm making a mess. I know I'm doing things all backwards, upside down, crooked. There. There. You can see that better. So now I just have to decide which one I want to put on there. Now they're using the pumpkin. And I guess you can do whatever one you want. You can use pumpkins, you can use whatever. You're so sweet, happy, haunting. They've got to and from. So you can stamp it any way you want. So since they used the, um, the pumpkin, I'm going to do the same. So, from what I understand about these stamps is you just stick them on there and now I've got to try and get 
Now I have a piece of paper here, and what I try to do is to test it before I start stamping. Oh, that's okay. All right, so this little tag, now they did them in all different ways. There is a website um, or a YouTube channel, I guess, that shows you exactly how to do that. So with the first one, I'm making the pumpkin. Alrighty, and I don't have my wipes handy, so I'll just wipe it off with this. And I'll put it back. So let's see, how about eat me? I like that. With the pumpkin? With the pumpkin, let's do the eat me words. And let's do this. <laughs> so there's my little tag. Eat me if you can. I hope you can see that good enough there. Eat me if you can. Alrighty. Ah. Okay. So. We'll do that one for now. Let's go on to the next step. I'll just put these aside. All right, so the next step, step two, is to place the little white cards in the bottom of the bag. I hope I showed you that long enough. So here's one bag. They've already pre-cut it. So we're just going to open it up. If I can, I'm just afraid to break anything, that's my problem. Alrighty, and these cards go in the bottom. I guess that's to give it a little bit of support. Alrighty, so I now have that at the bottom. Step number three here is to wrap the skirt around it. So, I don't know how they expect us to do this without making a boo-boo. I haven't done this, guys, so right now, all I know is that I'm supposed to wrap the skirt around it so that it will look like this. Okay? Now, they've already pre-taped everything, so you don't even have to have glue. All you have to do is just take that little cover off the tape. Now, don't forget, this is my first time doing this, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm hoping I'm going to be doing it correctly, because I don't want to make a mistake. So I guess the whole idea here is to try and line this up. See, I really need this light. I'm sorry, guys, but there we go. For me, I really need this light. So I'm probably going to screw this first one up until I get to know how to do it straight. Because, like I said, I'm new at this. And for me, I would really need to open it up and hold it up so that I can have it go around and around and around and around. Okay, so next time I know to put my hand in and do it around and around and around. There we go. How's that? The next step is to curl the pieces with a paper straw. Well, isn't that a cute idea? So you don't even have to use a pencil. I would have used a pencil, but what the heck. 
So let's take out a paper straw. Oh, I see why they're curling the ends. You can curl the ends of the little, I call it a skirt. I mean, so basically, I mean, you can do the same thing with a pencil, but I guess they're just giving you instructions on how to do things without adding too many um, tools and things that you have of your own. So what they send you in a package, everything that you get in the package, you can use without having to dig into your own stash of stuff. So I'm just curling these and I can see why they want the curl by looking at the other pictures. I know I'm doing this really quickly because I just want you to see it and I don't want this to be a forever video. But isn't this a cute little idea? I was really disappointed with the way how I did the <laughs> when I did a fail. Um, now I did videotape it, but I just can't remember if I uploaded it, so I'm going to have to look. Because I did a couple of DIYs and a couple of DIY fails, so I can't remember if I put it on or if I did or not. I tend to videotape a lot more than I actually upload. This is just to give it a little bit more so it's not so straight up and down. So once you get those all curled, I'm not going to curl anymore. So this was the step here, and this is step four, is to just use the straw to curl the ends. And step five is that you place the treat inside the bag, gather the bag, and press down around the treat. Okay, so I wasn't prepared for that part. I will get a treat. I have a whole big box full of them. I've got all kinds of trees. So let me kind of grab a few. And see which ones and how they'll fit. Okay, so I just grabbed a couple of things here. A little chocolate, scaries. That are smarties, they're scaries, and a Reese's Pieces. So let's put these in. I'm going to put that down. And then I've got some pumpkin candy. And I already put a chocolate for the smarties in. So now they want me to put these down here for now to gather the bag around the candy. Okay, so I'm not doing a very good job here, but I think the more often I do it, um, the better it will turn out. Oops, I don't want those in there. There we go. Okay. So I press down around the treats to make it crunchy. Now it's too, okay, sorry. So I've pretty much done that. And now it's to add the straw and tie it up. So we add the paper straw, wrap the raffia around the outside of the bag and knot. Add tags with the twine and then tip. Leave out the paper straw or a haystack look. So if you don't want to use the paper straw in there, which makes it look like a broom, you can put it all together and if you leave it out it looks like a stack. And do you know what else you could do to this that they didn't mention? Um, you could stamp all kinds of stuff on here and paint it and do all kinds of things. So let me get the raffia comes in this cute little package. wonder why. 
Okay, sorry, I was looking at my camera wondering why it was looking like it wasn't filming. And I'm going, oh my god, I'm going to all this trouble. All right. I got all this raffia. Look, sorry, my arm was in the way. This raffia kind of comes all like this. So let's take one. Oh, I'm supposed to wrap the whole thing together. Alrighty. Well, I could put the straw in here. Now, I think what would be great is if you added hot chocolate or some kind of juice, some kind of sweetener, some kind of something. Not sweetener, sorry. But some kind of something if you're going to be using the straw. And I'm going to wrap this around a few times. As you can see, I'm a klutz. But we'll get the hang of it here, slow but sure. Yes, I think this is a really cute idea. And as I said, mine failed miserably because I was using um, big, big paper and I didn't know how they cut it. I didn't know how they did any of these things. This is basically, I'm just going to pull it up a little bit and pull these out a little bit so they kind of look a little bit more like they're, you know, kind of messier. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Now I can... That was the stick. And basically that is it. This is my little project. Um, each one of these strings. I'm just looking, oh, here it is. <laughs> now, where is the purple one? So basically, um, I can decorate that like this and put it on here as a beat me. All I need to do is glue it down. So we'll do that. A mask. There we go. Put the string through. You know, this is wonderful for people like me who've never made. This is going to be way too long, I think. I mean, I can. I think I can cut this down, but this is just going to give you an idea. I'm just going to kind of wrap it a few times, and. Uh, it in a little bow because I I'm going to attempt to do a few other things with this but this is just the basic kit you know um, having trouble wrapping here all right so here we are this is the little broom treat bag the problem is is I would have to do something because if you grab it by like this, this is going to come out. Um, and as they said, you could leave the straw out completely and it looks like a little haystack. Which is true, it does. It's really quite cute. And I really like this. And this is really an un unusual looking little treat bag that the kids would have fun with. And I think it would be great for parties and stuff. So this is my take on it. This was my very first um, paper pumpkin kit. And it wasn't that just, the timing was perfect because I've been doing Halloween stuff. I did try this with the bigger bags. I do love these little bags. And my grandsons 
are going to get each one with special treats in it. So what do you think? Um, this is only one. Now the other things that they send, they don't just send these as well. They also send like card making. So you can, um, I think around Valentine's they do cards. Um, now this month, this is for Halloween in September. I'm imagining that October will be a Thanksgiving theme and November and December could be Christmas. I'm, I'm guessing. I am not sure. So we shall see what the next thing will bring. Thanks for joining me. I hope I, would, I hope I didn't go through this too, too quickly and I hope I shared enough with you. There's lots of stamps, which means I can really have fun stamping these. And you know, while these are down and flat, I could be stamping these or painting it or doing anything, you know, just to add a little of my own. So I'm going to experiment with one or two and I might do another DIY on, on what I've come up with in all of these little treat bags. It was a really cute idea. And at least this one works. These ones, they've curled a little bit more than I have. I didn't curl my tops as much as they did theirs. I kind of left it a little bit more shabby. <laughs> Cute. Thank you so much, Paper Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I had fun with this. I'm sorry I did a very poor job of showing um, how to do things on the video, but that's the way I do things. This is my very first try. i sure I will perfect it as I go along. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, you know, leave them in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Please comment. Um, let me know what you think of, of this little product. Um, I'm not advertising for them. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm too new at this to be to be a representative of anything, but um, I wanted to try this. It was affordable. Um, I wasn't prepared to spend $30 on these other things like, I don't know what they're called, some of these, you know, Missy bags or some boxes or whatever. There's, there's one I really, really want, but it's $30 a month and I really can't afford $30 extra for other things since, you know, I think of all the craft stuff I can get for it. But it's called Globin, and um, you get this cute handmade basket, and it's from things from around the world, and it's $30 a month. And I don't know if that's $30 Canadian or $30 American. If it's 30 American, then that means it's going to cost me about $38 a month, and that's a little bit steep for me. Whereas this being half price. Like I say, in Canada, it's $24.98. If you join for two months, it's half off. So it's like twelve fifty or something like that. Um, but in the States, I noticed on your website, it's um, $19.90 or something a month. And if they still have, if they have the half price, then, you know, for $10 a month for two months to try it, um, I think it's worth it. Plus, look at, I mean, I'm getting these really cute um, stents, uh, stamps and, and the block. And I mean, the stamps alone, if I was to buy these at my craft, multi-crafting place, um, this would definitely be $7 or more. So $7 plus the block, plus the little ink pad, little ink pad, even the cheapest could be like $2.50. $2, say, $2, so there's $10 right there. I mean, they are shipping it to me. I do have all of these little tags, little cards, little so on. So, you know, I think it's fun. I think it's a great thing. So far, um, I will do an unboxing next month when I get my October one. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for joining me. Sorry I took so long on this, but that's what it's like when you're creating. <laughs> Bye for now.